Mrs. Barbie, you've been uh, for many years now a member of the MIB Corporate Steering Committee and also of the Steering Committee of the Master in Insurance and Risk Management, a governing body uh, who is, whose aim is to optimize uh, the program. Uh, what is the main contribution that you make to these committees with your professional experience? Yes, I've been part of both the committees for a long time. Uh, two different experiences because different is the aim of the different uh, committees. Uh, the first one gives, uh, the, I mean the corporate steering committee, gives me the great opportunity to discuss uh, with the school and with other uh, person uh, of my same role but in very different industries and discuss, as I said, the um, trends of learning and development and this is very important and effective and even learning from the school what's happening in the candidates area. Uh, on the other side the committee of uh, the master gives me the opportunity to discuss which are the topics that for my company are important to be part of the program and uh, last and not least we have a priority access to candidates and that's very important for us. How is the role of technology in insurance changing and what are the most important skills that junior professionals should have? Digitalization is crucial and uh, even uh, in our industry is very important and let me say probably more important than in other industries. Uh, we are a, an industry where the uh, so-called uh, uh, production uh, uh, process is inverted and we are very strange let's say. Digitalization is very important. We do not have other assets. We have employees, we have human resources. And so the continuous upskilling and reskilling on this topic is for me one of the priorities. Uh, what we expect for the, from the candidates, we expect to be curious, to be flexible, to be resilient, uh, to be very committed uh, and uh, to achieve what we call the we mentality. So uh, the idea that we belong to a team uh, to a company, to an organization. Alias is top employer of Italia for the fourth year in a row. In your opinion, which are the key factors in a positive and stimulating working environment? Working in a very positive uh, working environment is very important, of course. Uh, Allianz Italy was rewarding for time in a row, as you said, uh, thanks to our practices and policies. Uh, uh, the human being is really the center of our strategy and um, we received a very good, uh, how can I say, marks uh, in, in many areas. Uh, not only, we received uh, this year for the second uh, time the EDGE certification, which is uh, another certification in terms of uh, gender equality, which is as well another very important topic for us. Does Allianz actively implement initiatives aimed at fostering inclusion and diversity? If so, can you please give us an example? Yes, of course, and we have many, many examples. I'm used to quote the most practical one. Well, first of all, we have 50% of women and 50% of men. But not only, we continue to help them in balancing their professional and personal lives. During uh, the um, long uh, summer holidays in the schools, we allow employees uh, to bring children uh, in the offices uh, together with them, where we have a uh, person that uh, can uh, work, stay with them the whole day while the parents are working uh, on the same floor so they can have a, a look at them. Uh, we have a lot of flexibility entering the company, leaving the company. Uh, we have 50% smart working, which means that they can work 50% from home and 50% from the office. Uh, we have family care. We have a lot of services uh, in order to allow every employee with their own diversity that we really like a lot uh, to bring uh, their contribution to the company. What are the main challenges that you face as a HR manager in a large insurance company? Uh, at present, uh, uh, everything is changing so fast. And so the thing that I have to commit every day is to allow all the employees at any level of the hierarchy to be continuously upskilled and reskilled and ready, as we usually say, with the skills of the future. Could you give some advice to students 
who aspire to pursue a career in insurance and consulting. Don't be afraid of this sector. It's a sector, it's an industry which probably is not well known because it's something that is not normally studied at university, but be curious, learn it, and you will discover that this is an industry which gives a lot of opportunities and there are a lot of jobs that you can never think of.